What's up guys, I'm Tyler Holt, Muscle Farm Athlete, and today I'm gonna to take you to my leg workout. The goal of this workout is to build muscle on your legs. Everything from quads, glutes, and hamstrings, we're gonna attack it all. This workout should take you anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour. So if you guys are ready, let's go crush some legs. This first exercise is a barbell squat. We're gonna have feet close together and heels elevated. We've got five sets of this. First set is 20, second set is 15, third set is 12, fourth set is 10, fifth set is eight reps. Before you get into heavy weight on this, make sure you do some warm-up sets. Get your knees really warmed up, loosened up. Make sure your lower back is doing good for you and then start to add on the weight. So to elevate your heels, we're gonna put two plates underneath your heels. 25 pound plates are totally fine and you're gonna stand with only your heels on those. Toes are gonna be on the ground. The reason why our heels are elevated on this exercise is to put more of an emphasis on the quads and we've got our feet close together so that we can primarily focus more outside quad for this variation of the squat. All right guys, second exercise is gonna be split squats. We're going three sets of 12 on these. On this exercise, we wanna keep chest up, head up, and keep the pressure on your front foot, the heel primarily. If you're feeling this in your back quad, that means you're putting too much pressure on that back foot that's laying on the bench. So make sure you're keeping that pressure on the front foot. For this exercise, I'm doing it with dumbbells. You can also have a barbell on your back foot and do the same thing. Make sure each set you're starting with the same leg. That way each leg is getting the same amount of rest. Next exercise is a dead rest leg press. We've got three sets of eight on this, so we're focusing a little bit heavier on this lift. It's easy if you have a pin loaded leg press. If not, you can use a regular leg press and do a pause at the bottom instead. So we're using this dead rest as more of a power based exercise. We wanna build power and strength in the legs. So coming to a completely dead rest before each rep really helps us generate that power from the bottom, which is why we're doing heavier sets of eight reps. If you wanna put more emphasis on the quads, go feet a little lower, a little close together. If you wanna put a little more emphasis on the hamstrings, go feet a little higher and a little wider. All right guys, next exercise is seated leg curls. You can do lying leg curls if you want instead, but we've got three sets. First set is 15, second set is 12, third set is 10. Again, increasing weight each set. So this is an isolation movement for the hamstrings. So make sure at the end of each rep, we're getting a good squeeze in the hamstrings. You don't want anything else taken over. So focus on the squeeze. And then the last exercise is leg extensions. Again, three sets of 15, 12, 10, increasing weight on each set. This is an isolation movement for the quads. And again, really focus on that squeeze at the top of each rep. All right, so at the end of this workout, we should be feeling great overall legs. We should be feeling glutes, we should be feeling hamstrings, we should be feeling quads. We've isolated everything. We've done power movements like the squats and the dead rest leg press, so your legs should be done right now. The full breakdown for this workout is below here on bodybuilding.com. If you have any questions for me about this workout, you can find me on Instagram at tholt21 or on Facebook at Tyler Holt. For more workouts and articles from athletes like me, come back here to bodybuilding.com. Over 45 fitness plans, daily workouts, results for life, only $8.99 a month.